while we might not be able to objectively review the device in question today, we most certainly can review the screen. Aside from the body itself, the screen technology has nothing to do with us. That's all e-ink. This is the good e-reader x Big Me Gailey. This is the world's first and only e-ink Gallery 3 screen. It's an 8-inch device with Google Play and a Wacom stylus layer. You can use the included pen or any other pen on the market. Aside from that, it has two cameras, a 2.3 GHz octa-core processor, 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of onboard storage, microphone, 36 LEDs, and fingerprint unlock is standard. But enough about the unit, let's talk about the screen tech. What sets this aside from standard Kaleido is the fact that even in color mode, it can display 300 ppi. Currently, Kaleido 2, or Kaleido Plus, is only capable of about 100 to 117 ppi, and the upcoming Kaleido 3 actually cuts the ppi by one-third that of the black and white. So if you have a 300 ppi screen in black and white, you're only getting 100 in color. So it's no surprise that we went with Gallery 3 instead of Kaleido for this particular unit. Michael and the news publication said it best, but E-Ink Gallery 3 is based off of ACEP, which is Advanced Color E-Paper. A full color gamut is achieved through a four-particle system, CMYW, cyan, magenta, yellow, and white, or blue, red, yellow, and white, which allows a full color gamut for each individual pixel, aka it's not just using a passive color array filter laid over the screen, this is a different tech altogether. So let's dive into some real world testing and side by sides with Kaleido Plus. So we're not going to focus too much on the UI, everything like that. This is the same as the Goody Reader, Big Me Ink, No Color. It's the same as the Max Plus Color. It's all the same stuff. Top bar, sidebar. That's not what you're here to see. You guys are here to see the actual screen technology at play. Now, you will notice the first thing is that it's very jittery like that. And that's, that's the Gallery 3 screen. Now, if this was as fast as the Kaleido screen and it displayed better colors and 300 ppi, there'd be no reason to buy the Kaleido. So that's the trade-off you pay. That's what you, that's what you get. It looks so magnificently perfect. When you go into something like this, look at that. There's no glow light right now. We'll show you some glow light comparisons and some color vividness a little bit later on. And we'll show you from the e-ink center. We're on HD mode with dark enhancement, vivid enhancement, and color brightness all at zero. So this is the best looking display it's going to have. The way it refreshes is completely normal. And whether you get the pocketbook, the sharp, or any other upcoming device, they're all going to do that because it's called basically dithering as we know it at this point. It's this multi-stage way that it displays and refreshes to give you the clearest color. This is insane the way this looks. Again, there's no glow light on right now. The viewing angle is like looking at a magazine. It's absolutely fantastic. So we're going to go back now and we are going to look at another photo. We're just going to keep firing off a couple photos here. Let's look at this tiger because they put this on here because it's a it's a pretty good it's a pretty nice looking tiger. Again, hit that refresh. This is more comparing to Kaleido. Kaleido's like a sprint. Gallery's like a marathon. This looks, it's not even close. And we'll compare to Kaleido in a little bit as well. Look at this tiger. Look how amazing he looks. This is a fantastic image. Now moving over to normal mode, because normal mode is where we're going to get into more of a speed oriented operating system. So when we go to normal mode like this, we can go back into it, hit refresh. It's not going to look as good as it was in HD mode. Granted, it still looks pretty good, but everything's a lot quicker now. The UI is quicker now. You can go over here to the top bar. Everything kind of speeds along a little bit. You get a little bit more 
pixelation in the background you get a little bit of a yellowish tinge but things are traditionally a lot quicker now that you can go over here to the e-ink center you can adjust the color brightness the background changes accordingly vivid enhancement everything's very washed out and that's to make this as quick as possible because gallery is always going to be slower than anything else and it's just the it's the hand we were dealt and this is what all the major manufacturers are going to be using moving forward so if we go back to the local storage and we open up a document we can actually look at an ebook as well so if we pull something up that's a pdf ebook it doesn't matter as long as it shows text open it up with x reader we can now see what it looks like on the screen and yes you can take notes on the screen and the note taking is really quick so that has nothing to do with gallery the the speed of note taking or the latency that is it is still very very fast so don't worry about that page turns are very quick as well you can turn pages like that and black and white mode is going to undoubtedly look the worst but perform the best so if we go up to here drop the top down go to e-ink center right there turn on black and white mode go back to it all the colors will be gone now any remnant of a color is going to be just completely gone and you can see everything sped up quite drastically compared to the rest of the modes now a lot of people were asking what's the ppi when you use color and what's the ppi when you use black and white the answer to that is 300 each so if you want the fastest experience albeit the worst looking you can go to black and white but hd mode is going to give you that full very nice overall clean look and if you want to stop always pressing the little ball on the side and pressing refresh you can actually change the refresh frequency every amount of times you touch the screen one two three touches is going to refresh the screen in full or you can do every 10 touches and why you want that is because you see right there the third touch now we've refreshed the screen i don't need that floating ball to be there anymore and yes you can turn the floating ball off the fact that this is gallery means that the screen density is going to be 300 ppi regardless of how big you build your device because each individual pixel holds the color gamut as opposed to an array filter, you get an amazing experience regardless of the size. That looks so good. I must say, that is the best color we've ever seen on an e-paper product. And it's all thanks to e-ink's screen. Look how rich and vivid that is. That is such a solid looking collection of colors. You can put shapes in with the operating system of course bigme has allowed you to do shapes so you can put in lines you can put in rectangles you can put in circles whatnot if you do a line it's going to be a line you'll have to choose your color wisely because if you go to the color palette and you're in yellow or pink or red you can choose it like that you can do things like redo undo track erase crop highlighter share and more more is going to give you a bunch of things you can do handwriting to text delete page rename insert photos different templates export file a lot of stuff you can do it's completely the exact same experience in terms of the palette and the side elements and the top elements as it was on the ink note but the colors the highlighting it looks so good and that's the prime focus if we go to highlighter we're going to choose something pretty nice like a pink for example and then you go on the page and you draw that line and where those little trail mark lines are going to be is where it's going to put your highlight and they kind of stack on top of each other and whatnot that's really cool and that's something that's pretty much exclusive to big me in that when you make a straight line with the highlighter it then creates the highlighting line it doesn't just you don't just choose the highlighting pen so that is going to make a perfect line every single time which is fantastic you can see you have different colors black red purple pink and yellow traditionally things like reds and yellows don't show up good on kaleido but on the gaily it shows up fantastically if we go over to here we can transfer text aka text conversion now it doesn't just do the one you did it does all the pages so you can see it transliterates everything where we wrote pen pencil brush and ball pen on the very first page it did that too if you hit a page that you weren't intending to translate then it's not going to look good for example this one might not be to its full extent although it actually did it did line triangle circle and triangle so rectangle so this is actually bodes well you can see highlighting i just kind of wrote it kind of half ass there so unfortunately it didn't pick it up all the way but things like this where you write it coherently 
and you go to the final page you were on, we will convert text now. There you go. So it it does it very, very well. And it doesn't just do the page you're on. It goes through your entire workbook and you can export all and send it to any application you wish. Take this as an example of these two color mosaics we drew. You can see how absolutely just paint-like the gallery is. It's rich, it's thick, it's like painting with mud versus painting with almost looks like translucent pencil crayons or colored pencils. You can see all the texture, the reflectivity of the light, whereas the gallery just absorbs the light. Every piece of color is exactly the color it needs to be. There's no question. There's no pixelation around the corners. You can't see the color array filter. But on Kaleido 2, you can. You get a lot of that. Granted, the Kaleido screen is always going to be quicker. You can get your ideas on the page faster. But you can't argue with results. The device itself is simply our approach at throwing every single feature and spec at the wall and seeing what sticks. And everything seemed to have stuck. So we'll let the other reviewers take the helm when it comes to talking about how good or bad the unit is itself. But the screen tech is all e-ink. We have nothing to do with that. Let us know what you all think and stay tuned for more videos coming from goodyreader.com.